What's up guys? This is going to be analysis for my subscriber Kellen Heller, uh, a Falco player, and they recorded themselves playing against this Luigi. We're going to analyze one game, and uh, it's, a, it's a net play session, which I've done a few uh, net play session analyses at this point. Uh, sometimes the lag kind of affects things, and that's really unfortunate, but I'm going to try not to harp on those things too often. Um, and also, there's no real, like, stage counter picks or anything like that, but can we, we can still talk about the qualities of the stages in the matchup, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, I guess I randomed to Yoshi's Story, which is really, really good for Falco, in my opinion. Um, sometimes uh, Luigi's will like this stage because you get kills off the side a little bit more easily. Um, maybe it happens at slightly lower percent. Also, the side platforms being at a pretty low height kind of helps Luigi poke at them a little bit. Um, it kind of comes in with Falco not having a great shield either, so you can get shield poked on these side platforms a lot. Um, low top platform makes it kind of hard for Falco to just like straight up camp Luigi, although I would argue that you don't really want to be above Luigi regardless um, because he has a lot of priority above him with his up air so, and his forward air. But, um, talking about the positives for Falco, you can kill Luigi off the top on this stage extremely easy with shines off the top. Um, edge guarding becomes really good. You kill Luigi off the sides extremely fast. Uh, the thing about Luigi's recovery is that you can move a great distance horizontally, right? So like on Dreamland, let's say you get hit way off and up, right? You can still recover. Um, on this stage, you just straight up die off of the side. And then, uh, if you get hit down below, you're just dead, right? Uh... <clears throat> So that, along with just kind of like getting in on Luigi and getting within his like wave dash range is actually quite easy on this stage. It's kind of hard to camp him, but you don't really have to camp Luigi. So we're going to see how it goes. Both of them start on side platforms here. Um, what I'd probably like to see is probably like a short hop laser than a runoff laser. You probably have time to do both against Luigi, who's kind of slow. Um, certain ports of Luigi, I'm just kind of throwing this in there. I know it's kind of a weird thing to say, but... Um, when you uh, are certain ports of Luigi, you can actually wave land off the platform, uh, which is like the fastest thing that you could probably do after this because you actually fall and then you're actionable before you actually touch the ground. Um, but then certain ports make you touch the ground before you actually can move. So that's kind of a small interesting thing that doesn't quite matter, but yeah, let's just get into it. So we see drop through laser, which is still nice, um, and you, you got control of the ground, which is really, really good. Um, and like I was saying before, I don't really think that you want to be above Luigi in this matchup, so I like that you're contesting the ground right now. Um, Luigi's thing is, like, he only really has a ground game. If he's at, like, a full hop height, you can shark him really easily. Um, you can get underneath him with your back air really easily. Um, you can kind of pressure his landing really easily as well. Um, on the ground is his whole thing, but if you shut that down, you control the ground so much easier, uh, than he does. And also, uh, you get your larger openings off of fighting him on the ground as well. So this is nice. So laser, laser, nair. So far, I've seen some pretty basic uh, laser approaches from you. There was like laser, nair, laser, laser, nair. So um, mixing those things up and also dash dancing in between these sorts of things can actually really help you. I like the aerial timing too, but not like great spacing on the approach, right? I guess it maybe would have hit his roll, but after he rolls, you should shoot a laser and like try to keep continue your pressure. This dash dance... You have to think of like why you're dash dancing because this is the second time you kind of just moved back and forth maybe trying to just move quickly um dash dancing should be moving forward to to show a threat and then moving backwards to bait people right it's a constant balance between these two things right and at any point you can turn back and like laser as a like you control the ground then move forward or you can approach with a laser and then get aggressive or you can laser in place all those things are really really good Mixing them up is really solid, but just dash dancing back and forth to be quick sometimes isn't the best thing. You get caught out with big hitboxes like this as well. So just keep that in mind. I know I'm harping on just a couple things that have uh, happened right at the very beginning. So again, we see the exact same approach. The only reason I brought this up before is because I figured that it might be a habit of yours, just kind of like laser, laser, nair, kind of lazily. Um, I do like that you're not doing the nair rising and then fast falling there. It does seem like you're, you're delaying it quite a bit and then starting the nair once you've already reached the apex of your short hop. So this is nice. Um, so this is the first time you approach with kind of like an early aerial. I would have liked to see you lay out the groundwork of lasers again, but um, it's okay that you didn't. I, I honestly think that approaching with down air, with early down air uh, against Luigi is exactly what he wants. Um, Luigi does a lot of shield grab, a lot of like down smashy stuff. Um, he can crouch cancel a lot of things. Probably not your down air, but he can actually out prioritize your down air too with a forward air if he's just zoning. Like uh, short hop forward air, forward air, which is actually just hit your down air, uh, which would be really, really bad for you, right? Um, and in this matchup, a lot of the time, all you're doing is kind of just avoiding the shield grab because you control the ground so well that if you, you, you kind of naturally avoid all of the other things. Um, so a laser would have been really nice, but, um, 
Also, with this down air, I would have liked to see it kind of faded back. This is like way too heavy of a commitment against the Luigi, um, in my opinion. He does triple jab. He probably could have done like jab grab or some other mix up like that, but that's fine. You still got a like whiff punish regardless, and that's kind of what I wanted to show. You set up a pressure sequence here. Let me just check this out really quick. Okay, so you down air him out of the air. This is kind of like a weird scramble situation because you down air him out of the air, so he actually had an opportunity to get a shield up, but then you get the opening, so that's okay. Down air on the platform, up tilt, shine, nice. This is actually insanely good recognition. I don't even know if I would have shined off the top here. In hindsight, yeah, I probably would have. Um, but what I was thinking that you could have done here, and just keep this in mind for any time that you're calling Luigi. So you down air him. Um, just in case you uh, needed more percent, I know I'm doing this and this is not what's happening on the screen, but if you want to build up more percent right here, a lot of people would just down air and then they'd go over here and then you like set up for kind of an edge guard, but they'd be close enough to kind of just double jump back to the ledge. What you can do is hit with the reverse part of your down air. So you go over here and down air and then he'll go straight back down to the platform and then he's going to have to tech, right? And then you can just reaction tech chase from there. So that's just something to keep in mind, but the shine off the top was excellent, and I love how you down aired him, down aired him, up tilted his miss tech, then shined. It was, it was all perfect. I see you with the uh, the down air aerial interrupts on the, the top platform too. Nice. But messing around, but in all uh, in in all seriousness, uh, you don't want to mess around with some of these invincibility like this. You're just going to get hit. Luigi definitely could have just nared you right there. Again, these dash dance is not really serving a purpose. Um... I was a little hesitant to bring it up at the very beginning because I saw you only do it twice and I was like, I don't know, you might not do it that much, but think about elongating these dash dances. Um, a lot of the times when you play against Luigi, it's not really about dash dancing unless you're up in his face, able to threaten something when you're in his, uh, when you're outside of his threat range, but he's inside of yours, right? Um, this is like, okay, he's all the way across the stage, like what are you really doing dash dancing? You could be setting up lasers here, you could be do doing fadeaway aerials, you could be moving to platforms. All of these things are more effective than what you're doing. Um, which is a little unfortunate because it seems to be kind of like the basis of your neutral like how you build into the rest of your neutral it's like you're kind of just dash dancing and then you're like in the scrap situation where he like hits you then you roll and then you like okay now i'm shooting lasers and here we are laser laser early nair again uh he didn't shield grab you but he most definitely could have so just be careful here um uh, because you're using kind of the same approach timings uh over and over again mixing those up is extremely important little tech flow with your lasers there, but that's okay. Nothing really to talk about. Um, I don't mind the forward throw here either, actually. Laser shine grab, forward throw into the corner. You could have done auto cancel back air to just kind of like cover something on this platform. Auto cancel back air will reach through this platform, which is really, really nice, especially if you're just trying to like soft cover this roll in. Be really careful. I actually do this a lot too. Um, and it's one of the things I think is pretty bad about my game is I'll do this nair where I hope that they come down or they drop through the platform or it might just like hit them or something. I'm just kind of hoping with this Nair. Um, it really almost never works and it ends up uh, getting you whiff punished or you like lose center stage, right? Uh, so you have to be careful doing that Nair when people are on side platforms. Uh, short hop up air is way more effective. Short hop forward air is actually even better than that, um, but that's okay. So he kind of had center and then gave it up. Um, this is a good conversion, though. I do like this. But, like, again, those dash dances honestly did not serve a purpose. Um, it, your time would have been much better spent, like, just setting up lasers or doing fadeaway aerials. Um, but that's actually a really, really solid conversion for you. It was a good nair to catch him out, although I think he just kind of jumped. Yeah, he kind of just, like, short hopped at you, which is not, like, a great Luigi thing to do. Um, but that's okay. This, this, again, is a really good conversion for you. Good recognition. Okay, you shield that, excellent. Nice, I don't mind the second drifted in down air. I do wish it was um, a little bit later, but it's okay, because it did hit him. So you do down air right here. Nice, I think that if you did it um, slightly later, you could have actually like true converted off of this. I do like the down air fadeaway right here. So down air shine, you're on a shield, right? So like late there would have been really nice. I'm pretty sure that you can just jump over Luigi's grab. I'm not 100% certain about that, but it could have been really good. Yeah, he just jab grabs you, which is a little unfortunate. Sorry, I was just checking out what exactly happened in kind of like the scrap situation. And you want, like I said, you want to avoid as many like scramble situations, like all those jabs and everything as, as possible. Now you're just getting Luigi punished. Nice. I like the disengage. You were definitely like um, kind of off balance right here. Like if you tried to fight him right here, this would have been really hard. Like with punishing this chop in the air with like a dash back, dash in there or something. It would have been hard is all I'm saying. 
Um, so I really like the dash away laser and then the second laser to cover this roll. But be careful because you're you're still doing that laser laser early aerial, right? Even do like four lasers in a row, dash back, dash in, down air. Um, the most simple mix up I can give you is the, the mix up that Mango uses the most, um, which is shoot laser, dash back, dash in, late aerial, uh, right? It's always shoot laser, dash back, dash in, late aerial. Um, so many people shoot laser, dash in aerial or shoot laser, shoot laser, dash in aerial. Um, adding the dash back as even just a simple timing mix up is really important. And since you've done the exact same timing mix up like six times, um, any like high level player would punish you very hard for that. Um, so we might not be seeing it from this Luigi, but like, let's say that you want to be a slightly better Luigi, because that's kind of the purpose, right? Playing this matchup correctly so that maybe one day uh, you'll have the tools to beat somebody like a bait or something, right? And that's unfortunate. You got the power shield and it shoved you too far and then you did shield drop back air and then, yeah, this extends over the lip. That was kind of silly, but decently unfortunate. But yeah, you did get punished there, if I'm not mistaken, from doing um, the early down air, right? I just want to make sure that this was the case. You did laser, laser, down air, he grabs you. Yeah, exactly. So um, if you ever even want to watch some of my VODs against Yo-Yo, um, when I play against Yo-Yo, anytime that I'm winning, I feel like I'm late aerialing a lot um, because Luigi's game plan uh, revolves around shielding after lasers really, really heavily. Um, because he can't really close the gap between the lasers very well unless he like power shields a laser or shields it and then moves in afterwards. Because his take laser options honestly are just not that strong as long as you're mixing up your timings. Okay, so what I really prefer to do and um, against Luigi, it's very simple. A lot of characters have a lot of mix-ups off the ledge and you have to worry about them or whatever. I stand right here and I do a fadeaway downer. I end up right about here. So if I'm wrong and they end up like wave landing straight down right here, uh, I just whiff, but they're not close enough to punish me. And now I have center stage. I can set up laser control. Um, and then if they do like anything, your downer just beats them out because you're far enough away to where their invincibility is gone. And most Luigi's don't have great ledge dashes regardless. Uh, but even the good ones, a lot of times they're gonna like ledge dash shield and then try to shield grab you. But if you're fading away with your aerial, you'll be outside of any like out of shield range. So you got a laser right here, but I'm just saying that you could have gotten a slightly more direct punish. I like the laser grab. Um, early down, it is a mix-up. Um, this isn't the worst thing in the world. I do like that you forward threw him off stage, though. I think that forward, throw forward throwing any character off stage like that is really, really solid. You probably could have converted off of this harder, too. Um, you had, like, two options. You either down air and then down air again, hopefully, uh, and then hope that he kind of, like, dies. Or you can jump, shine, wave land, down air, and then platform check chase again. Those are the two, like, potential large combos that I saw in my mind when that situation came up. Nice, back air. So, uh, the reason this this back air was really nice is because it does hit on the side platform, and also it's, it's extremely good at shield poking. Let's see if I can get this really quick. So you actually shield poked him right here. It's really amazing, and he didn't even show that much of his feet, but he's showing just enough. This, this, this would sh still shield poke um, because of how this platform lines up with your back air. So that was really, really nice. Unfortunate double jump. Um, anytime you have somebody off the stage like this, um, I don't know. I try to keep it as simple as possible so I'm not like just flubbing. Anytime you flub like this, you're losing tempo and you're losing an opportunity because now you have like, okay, well now you had to go for a read on like his platform movement with the short hop up air, right? And I, I guess you were correct, but you could have just walled out with back airs and like just killed him. So he came down with the down B. Uh, this is way too aggressive. Like you don't have to do this sort of thing against Luigi. Uh, you could corner pressure him so hard that honestly just like making sure he like doesn't go high and double jump here by like turning your back and then just back airing him if he double jumps and forcing him to go to the ledge is like a strong enough mix up that this guy's just gonna die eventually. So it's a little unfortunate. Your corner pressure could definitely be better is all I'm saying. Fade away aerials, uh, back air, and just shooting very simple short hop lasers is really, really good. So you forward smash him on his wave dash in here. Um, decently ill-advised from me. Honestly, I would have liked to see you jump off here with a turnaround laser and then maybe like laser again forward tilt or something to send him off stage. Um, like, cause I said, your, your whole like goal in this matchup is to not get shield grabbed a lot of the time and forward smash is just a shield grabbable thing. Um, and he's at high percent. When people are at high percent, um, like forward smash will kill, right? But like, so will a back air. So will like uh, a well-spaced forward tilt into an edge guard. So will like a well-spaced laser down tilt. All right, like you don't have to risk so much when so many other things that are so much lower risk would kill um, just as easily, right? 
So just keep that in mind. Um, it's not the biggest of deals. I haven't seen you forward smash a lot, but yeah. So again, you're trying to mess with invincibility. I know that these are just like net play friendlies, but um, just be careful with people's invincibility. A lot of times people will get bad habits attacking invincibility and stuff. And now look, you're, this is literally just because you attacked invincibility. Consider going to the ledge, consider light shielding on a side platform. I would have loved to see a fadeaway down air right here. So you nair him, down air, and then shine, it's out of range. You had enough time to jump up in the air and then just do a fadeaway down air. Wave dash away, honestly, was not bad either. <clears throat> but fadeaway down air would have shoved him to the ledge. That's why I wanted to see that. Luigi is really not good off the ledge. Um, or at least to my knowledge in terms of like what Luigi's are doing right now, I can literally spam the fadeaway down air against every single Luigi in the world. Um, so yeah, if you shove him to the ledge right here, it's extremely good for you. A little bit of a tech flub, a little bit of hesitation. Got the weak hit of the, the back air. Again, you're kind of, and, and this is just kind of happening again. I just want to point it out. Is that your dash dances are really quick and short, and they're not really serving a purpose. You might as well just be standing still. Okay, so right here, um, try to build this into your play right now. You could have wiggled out of this for sure, or at least pressed B. Um, to laser and you would have landed on your feet and you would not have had to like go into a miss tech here um, I don't see enough people like wiggle out of things like that But it's really important because like now you're in a knockdown situation I guess you got the get up attack, but if you got that read correct, maybe you shields the get up attack up throw down here You're just dead, right? Um, and if you wiggle out you can you can work your way into to neutral again If you drop down with a laser and you land on your feet now you have control of the ground again, so it could be really really good for you Decent idea of shielding next to the ledge, but again, anytime Luigi's on the ledge, I'd really love to see just really, really simple stuff um, with like the lasers or the fadeaway down airs. Ah, yeah, that up tilt was like just really ambitious and, and really didn't serve a purpose, unfortunately. Could be a little cleaner off the ledge too, but that's okay. He just kind of calls you out there. So he's on the ledge. Okay. I mean, you, what was that, a pivot forward smash? Like, this is a good read. Like, he just ledge dash grabbed, and you, like, went outside of his ledge dash range and then forward smashed him. It's not bad, but again, if he just ledge dash shielded and held it, like, this is this is Luigi's ticket back into the game, is if you're throwing out things like this. You want to make it, like, think about your win conditions. Not letting him get a grab, and just, like, continually pushing him to the corner or killing him off the top, right? And so, like, things like this are just, like, this, like, this allows him a way back into the game, and you have to be really, really careful with that. Um, because if you, if you do things like this, he gets a grab and then you get thrown off balance, maybe you even get gimped. He could back throw here, fireball, catch the jump. Like maybe now it's last stock. And again, if this was a better Luigi, let's say it's like a bait or a blaze yellow or something like that. Now it's like, okay, well he only has 86% on him and you're at zero. Like, and he's like refreshing on the ledge. Like, oh God, if he gets one open up, like this is, this is doable. And you don't want it to ever be doable for him. You just want to like, like, uh, squeeze the life out of him slowly. If you know what I mean, you don't have to do things like this. Um, but you'll see me do things like this in netplay friendlies too. So I honestly don't blame you too much. Um, but yeah, if you have any clarifying questions, I really like how you held the ground, by the way, you honestly did not full hop over a, a lot of the time. That's what I see a lot of Falcos do. They try to camp Luigi and like full hop away and burn their double jumps too soon. I really like how you controlled the ground. It was really solid. Um, your ledge play could be a little bit cleaner. Uh, your laser mix-ups really importantly could be a lot better. Um, and you know, if, if you, if you even do that simple mango mix up that I was talking about, it could be really, really good for you. But again, if you have any clarifying questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch y'all next time. All right. Peace.